question. Alze, don't get me wrong. I've got some clients that are really, really good, but I've got some other clients that are really are trouble clients. How do I keep these trouble clients from showing up? Answer, ask your clients to complete an intake form before you have your first conversation. Let me tell you, I've got years of experience with this one. I used to get on the phone with anybody with a heartbeat, and I would have 30, 60, 90, two-hour conversations with people that I really shouldn't have been talking to in the first place. And then after having that experience for a couple of years, I used to ask people 105 questions before I'd ever talk to them because I was trying to protect myself from having a bad conversation. Okay, neither one of those two things is the best way to do it. Here's a way more professional approach you can take. Use an intake form. You may call it an application or survey form or a diagnostic. It, it, the, the name is, is up to you. The function is more important here. What you're asking prospective clients to do is answer a couple of crucial questions before they get on the phone with you. Now, there are a variety of software tools that allow for this functionality. So I imagine that you've heard or have seen an intake form before. That part may not be new to you. However, you can break this because most of my clients aren't using this intake form to its best effect and we've got to fix it. So for right now, what can you do about your intake form? There are two specific questions that need to be in the form you ask prospective clients to complete. One question is, what are you doing today about X? The second question is, how would you like me to help you with X? The first question assumes that your prospective client is already doing something to solve the problem that's in front of them. You want clients that are motivated. You want clients that are working on it already. They may not have solved it yet, but they've tried. And you, your best clients are going to already be in motion. And so asking that simple question, what are you currently doing about X, helps you determine how invested this person is in getting a solution to their problem. The second question, how would you like me to help with X? helps your client highlight or express any hidden expectations they may have of you and your services. We're all human. We all have unexpressed or underexpressed needs. And so you want to hear what those needs are. In order to hear them, you have to ask very directly. So in the intake form, you're asking what their expectations are. What do they think you can do for them? How do they expect you to help with them? This helps you calibrate if this is the kind of client you can help or not. Now still, sometimes client work is difficult because clients have complex situations and it's your job to help them navigate through. That's par for the course. I know you already understand that. Still, there are specific professional things that you can do to make sure that you and your prospective client are the best fit before you ever speak to one another. Sometimes reviewing that intake form, declining that conversation, and redirecting them to a different vendor is a better outcome for both parties. If you're asking me what I recommend to help you limit the number of bad clients in your business, ask prospective clients to complete an intake form before speaking with you. Hey, if you like that video, then you'll like this video too. They're all part of a series of videos that I've made specifically for busy consultants and coaches to help them leverage their time better. I know there are a lot of distractions out there, but if you can be more productive with your time, you can be more profitable in your business. And that's why I made the series. I hope you enjoy it. Please watch that next video and I will talk to you soon.